Good morning. Welcome to the AutoCAD LT for Architecture tutorial series. In this series we are using AutoCAD LT for architectural drawing and our aim is to learn to use AutoCAD LT to create architectural documents like floor plans, building elevations, construction details and more. Right now we are building a library of drawings for all of our furniture items for the house. This is so that when we get to the stage where we draw our house plan, we can add our already drawn furnitures into the project just by inserting them into our plans. Just draw them once in your lifetime, save them as DWG and for the rest of your life you can just load them into your projects. You can see here that we've created drawings for the bedroom furnishings and we're pretty much done with them all except a bookcase but we can add that another time. Not everyone has a bookcase in their bedroom. We could probably add a computer desk as well. Anyway, today we're looking at kitchen furnishings and in this video we're going to draw a sink, a dishwashing sink, and we are drawing these furnishings according to the metric standard sizes. We're drawing all of the furnishings in metric standard sizes so that they are all consistent in proportion in relation with one another. So when we draw a sink to the metric standard size, we are making sure that it looks right in the house that we are going to set it into. Nothing's going to be an unusual size if we follow the same standard for all of the items. Anyway, enough rambling, let's get started right now. So remember as always, come into Templates and open Architectural Metric and Imperial if you're American. Again, we're greeted by this, which we don't need. Go into model and let's start drawing our sink. So we need to draw the lim So we need to draw the limit border of the sink according to the metric size, which is 600 millimeters. Hold on, let me zoom out a bit. So 600 millimeters by 1000 and let's complete the square the, the rectangle and just make sure everything snapped correctly there we go 1000 up 600 horizontal and everything is a right angle good Okay, so now I'm going to offset these lines, hit enter, um, I'll offset the top and bottom about 60, 60 should be okay. Now these are just guidelines which I'm drawing and I'll offset these ones, yes, at about 80. Let me add the let me add the dimensions so that we can just remember. Of course, don't forget that we have to change our dimension. Don't forget that we have to change our dimension uh, style. So new continue. and just change these to if you've seen the previous videos you know what I'm doing and if you haven't I'll try to move slowly so that you can follow along what I'm doing here fit I believe it was 10 or 12 more like okay so the dimensions are gonna appear green now and they're gonna be larger so that we can see them and I'm going to set it as current. I just like to have dimensions there just so that I can see what's going on. Okay. Now all the internal lines here, I'm going to mark them a different color so that I know 
that these are just guidelines. Let's make it red this time. Okay, so a sink bowl is going to be about that big. I'm just going to click this here and then drag this and snap it to there. Okay, and the drying rack is just going to be lines. Hold on. I'm just going to put a center here by with a cross and a circle. We need a little circle. The little circle is going to tell us that this is the draining hole. 20 and I'm going to add another little circle. I want to offset this one actually by a few millimeters. About four millimeters will do. So that that's just an extra detail to add to make it look nice. You can get rid of them now. And line two. Uh, I'm going to add another guideline here by offsetting this down. Whoops. Okay, because it's square. Because it's a square, it's trying to offset the square. So I'm going to just draw this line here. And I'm going to move that single line down by about, I think, uh, I'm trying to keep it orthogonal here, what's going on? I'm just turning on ortho mode temporarily because the move tool is being difficult. So I'm moving this down. by how many millimeters shall we move it down by 30 30 is okay okay now i'm gonna draw a line down oh i want to just measure the distance from here to here and it's 440 so like i said it's just architectural creativity it doesn't matter how many lines are going down here to show that this is a drying rack but I'm trying to decide how many to do right let's draw one line and I want to array this rectangular array or path array let's use path array Okay, that's clearly too many of them. So if you zoom in down here, you see this little triangle. You can click it and you can change the number of these. There we are. Okay, we've done it. Now we can get rid of these uh, reds. And get rid of this as well. And this dimension. And my friends, we have a sink. So the distance from here to here is 440. I put 11 of the lines. 1, 2, 3, 4. It needs a start point and then plus 10 more. And then bet the distance between each is 440 divided by 10, which is 44. And that's a sink. Okay, I'm saving this now. And I'm creating a new folder called Kitchen, with, where we will keep all the kitchen items. And we'll call it 
Let's call it kitchen sink because we're gonna have bathroom sinks as well. Kitchen sink one. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like. Our mission is to master this software for the use of architecture. Thank you very much. Subscribe.